My name is Maria Gibbs, and I'm a PhD student in civil engineering at the University of Notre Dame. I'm a people person, and I see structures as a way to connect to people. So we don't think about it, but we use civil structures every day, from the water we drink to the places we go to school to the bridges we cross to get there. And for me, it's really cool as a civil engineer to know that the work I do really touches the lives of the people in my community. I got started with Bridges to Prosperity actually because of a conversation I had with a friend of mine in El Salvador. She's a school teacher out in a really remote school and she was telling me that her students sometimes would show up to class soaking wet or they wouldn't make it at all. And it's because to get to school they had to cross a river and during the rainy season that river would flood and so the kids would have to swim across or maybe make the choice that it was too dangerous to get to school that day. So at the time I was a civil engineering undergraduate student at Duke and for me, someone who was studying civil engineering, it seemed like this problem had a very simple solution, a footbridge. I went back to Duke to figure out how we could get this footbridge built, did some research, and ended up finding a nonprofit called Bridges to Prosperity that does exactly that. They work to build footbridges over rivers to give communities access to the services they need. So in partnership with Bridges to Prosperity, I went back with a student team and built that footbridge in El Salvador. And in the process, realized that, yes, the footbridge got those students to school safely. But it did a lot more than that too. The footbridge now allowed farmers to get their crops to market. It was access to healthcare when people were sick. So realizing that this footbridge, which I thought was just a simple way to get kids to school, in fact is a way to transform the prosperity of this community was really interesting to me. And working with Bridges to Prosperity since, I've realized this is a global issue. That one community in El Salvador was not the only one who suffers from isolation. So when I was on staff with Bridges to Prosperity, it was my job to think about how we could support building these footbridge projects on a scale commensurate with the need. We realized pretty early on that we weren't going to be able to build all the footbridges that are needed in the world as our little team. So instead, we're focused on training up local masons, local construction managers, and local engineers, giving them the tools and the training they need to be able to execute these projects from the design through the construction and continue building out these projects all over the world. I saw an opportunity for me to come in and study in graduate school a way that Bridges to Prosperity can overcome those technical challenges and build projects in some of the most challenging sites in the world. When I was looking at graduate programs to study this effect of wind on Bridges to Prosperity's footbridges, I was attracted to Notre Dame because there's world-class faculty here doing research on how natural hazards affect structures and how we can mitigate those effects. The civil engineering department specifically really exemplifies this idea at Notre Dame, which is to take the knowledge that you learn in your classrooms and apply it to make a better world. One of my favorite projects that I've worked on is the El Limon Bridge in Nicaragua. I went down last January with a, one of our industry partner teams, and we were working on the last stages of a suspension footbridge. And the coolest part of that project was working with Bridges to Prosperity's construction manager, Carlos, who is a Nicaraguan guy who's built a bunch of these suspension bridges before, and seeing the way that he was interacting with these industry professionals who had came down. Carlos had a ton of experience, and he knew a lot of the tricks of the trade to get this bridge built, and the industry professionals brought their own unique experience, and they didn't always speak the same language, but they were communicating with engineering gestures, um, and to see that, that process happening, and at the end of the day, how we used the pulleys to get the suspension towers up, and how we created the rig to bend the rebar and at the end of the day had a, a bridge that, that's there and people are crossing is pretty cool. A project that I consider my personal favorite is the Paso Real Bridge in Nicaragua. It has a unique feature where the, one of the backspans is loaded. So it's just a fascinating project from an engineering perspective because we're pushing the span limits. We had to put wind guys on this bridge. The amount of coordination between the Bridges to Prosperity engineering team and some of our industry partners and then the local guys on the ground building a bridge of a size that had never been built before. To see that all come together, is, it's a stunning, stunning project. I didn't really fully appreciate the power of a bridge, like the bridges I cross every day to get to work, until I was in El Salvador hauling rocks next to a farmer on a bridge project who was gonna use that bridge to get his crops to market every day, or playing around bending rebar with a couple kids who, when the bridge was finished, were gonna be able to get to school safely every single day, or just dancing with a mother at a bridge inauguration who knew that this bridge meant the next time she was ready to deliver a child, she could get to the health clinic. Transportation infrastructure is really the backbone of an economy, whether that's here in the US or in El Salvador or Rwanda.
it's possible to find success in civil engineering by studying really fascinating problems and figuring out a way to tie in your passion. For me, my passion is bridges, and I get to go into work every day in my lab and analyze data, which I think is just so cool, and know that at the end of the day that my work is helping the team at Bridges to Prosperity build bridges in some of the most challenging environments in the world.